Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to install any theme for the first time and import the dummy data. And as an example, we will use Nexus theme. But of course, this will be applied for all other themes. First, you should install the latest version of WordPress to your site. If you didn't finish this step yet, we are asking you to read the famous 5 minutes install from wordpress.org site. A link for this article can be found above this video in the documentation. In the previous video, we have discussed how to install the theme and how to activate it. Now, we will log in to the site and import the data. So, I will log in. And as an example, we will activate the theme another time. So, from the appearance, we will click themes. And we will choose Nexus theme to activate it. And here is the admin panel. We will save the changes. As you can see, here is a notification that this theme requires the following plugins, and this theme recommends the following plugins. So we will click Begin Installing Plugins. As you can see, these plugins are required, and the others are recommended. So I will install the first one plugin installed successfully and after that I will click return to require the plugins and activate the theme. I will do the same with all other plugins. Okay, now we are done. The next step will be to navigate to Visual Composer from the left hand side and General Settings. Make sure to check all the checkboxes for all post types and click save. Now let's import the dummy data. From appearance, click import demo data. As you can see, there is a single click to import the dummy data and this button will pull all the content from our server to your server. So please be patient and click the button only once. So I will click it and this will take around one, two, three minutes. All done and you can check the import dummy data from the pages or posts or anything. So if we click on posts, you will find all the posts here. If we click on pages, then you will see all the pages here. Now let's choose our home page. So from settings, we will click reading and we will choose a static page um, and for the front page we will choose from the home pages I will choose the default home page and click save after that we will choose the menu so from appearance we will click menus I will close this and this one so from the drop down list we will choose multi menu if we want the multi site and there is the one page menu if we want a one page site so the multi menu and we will scroll down and choose the header menu checkbox and click save menu now let's see our home page so I will visit the site I will close this tab and here we go this is our home page and all the content is important here is the menu the header and here is all the sections the last step will be if we want to change our header to be the revolution slider so you can import uh, the uh, revolution slider from our server as well so if we scroll down and go to revolution slider you can import the slides inside the theme forest package you will see a rev slider uh, folder and inside it the video slider the home minimal and the home multi Simply you can click the import slider, browse, and I will select the rev slider folder and any of them, I will choose the minimal override import slider.
here we go this is the home minimal and here is the short code if you want to display this slider instead of this header simply copy the short code and from appearance go to nexus and choose home page slider options the first option will be enable or disable the slider so we uh, disabled it here to display the static one and here is the options for the static one here you can upload image enter content and all that stuff display the header down arrow and everything so if you want the rev slider you want to enable it and paste the rev slider uh, home minimal short code here and just click save after that just refresh your home page and you will see the revolution slider instead of the static uh, header in your site that's it here is the slider and you can change any of the slides as you want if you have any questions, just hit up our support forum, profteamsolutions.com.